Hey guys, it's Lex back. Um, today's video we're going to be doing this cute little pinky fuchsia look and showing off some new pal palettes like that pumpkin spice and Urban Decay palette. So this is the new look. This is a new vibe I'm bringing. We're bringing back sassiness at the end of this year for me because your girl went through it all. Um, but yeah, we cut all of our freaking hair off and getting nails done and living large so enjoy the video everyone who has watched my videos or anything i just want to say thank you again i am just using this as an outlet like we all are because the world is freaking scary so enjoy the video watch the look check out palettes check out makeup and live your best life enjoy well hello y'all i'm a whole brand new princess hey y'all we're gonna do a look today i cut all my hair off we'd be wearing hoops now even though we don't have our lobe sewn up but it's fine it's a vibe we got it going on let's do a makeup look so first and foremost we need concealer because we need to prime these damn eyes my skin is all prepped though well besides i guess i didn't put on any um primer because we have a primer we're going to talk about that i've been using the last two days and it's new. It's a whole new bitch. It's a whole new brand. Oh, I put a lot of concealer on. F. Oh, well. I'm just... I didn't use tape yesterday, so I don't think I really, really need to today. I don't know what is, like, out there being a crazy little truck thing, but something's out there being a crazy little truck thing. So, we have some palettes we're going to use. We have the stones, stoned vibes palette from urban decay because so i went there to get the i went to ulta to get just a normal uh the pumpkin spice palette from Too faced because it actually is amazing like dead ass that palette is dope that's all i'm gonna say it is a dope ass palette and then i saw a lot of the stone vibes one and i was like oh it's all glittery and cute so then i was like F it, let's get both. So, let's dig in. We're using like a few palettes today. I'm feeling, feeling spicy. Feeling pretty spicy. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. We got. So, we're gonna use the Pumpkin Spice palette to lay, lay some, lay some look down. So, this palette, I used to ride for Die for Too Faced. We talked about that before. Um. <clears throat> <coughs> their quality went down tremendously and then it just like glued the fuck back up like it hit and it was like we're making a comeback bitch and i was like damn they really made a comeback so it's i've used it a few times i've had it for about a week now and yeah it's it blends pretty effortlessly so and that's what we like in a palette i like to not have to blend for 10 minutes and then be late to work or something Probably, honestly, it wouldn't matter. Still probably be late. So this is what it looks like. It smells not as strong as usual. So I'm just going to use like the whipped cream pinky toned color. It's like a cream color to lay down on my lid. I need to clean my brush. And I literally I was like, just had a Kleenex. So we got to bring our brush cleaner on it. So how are you guys? Are you guys ready for fall? I'm not ready for fall. How is school going? School has been kind of different here. Um, a lot of in-person, a lot of hybrid. You know, it's just, it's so all over the place. It's just so scary and it's so weird. And I just, I don't even know how I feel about it. And I don't even go to school. So we're going to lay down that whipped cream. You can see that. We're just going to lay down the eyelid. Cream it down. I should grab a mirror real quick. Do any of you guys have kids in school? Are you any of you guys in college? Any of you guys in school? And you know, like, what do you wish? Do you like doing online? Do you hate doing online? Do you just like in person? I mean, everyone's so different. I would honestly have to do in person. Like, I probably would fail tremendously. That's all I'm saying. I need that extra help, that extra boost of life in school. I was not. I'm. I mean, I wasn't smart, but. Like I said, I was in special ed. Like, I needed that extra guidance. 
I'm just glad it's a little more figured out with like how school's going down with it versus like, okay, mom and dad figure like, I should say, parent, guardian, figure it out now. You know, teachers really don't know what the fuck is up. Not that that's their fault, I'm just saying it's like no one knew what the hell was going on. So I think that helps probably a little bit. I mean, I'm not a teacher. I don't really know. I haven't been in school in 10 years. I should have went to my high school reunion this year, but then COVID hit. Okay, we're in home with crisp, it's just like this pinky color. I'm glad you guys can actually see it. I'm gonna lay that on the lid. Ooh, ooh. She poppin'. So yeah, I was really impressed that this palette doesn't suck. Like, usually a lot of their palettes like this that are like, we'll be honest, we'll say a gimmick because they are kind of gimmicky, are usually like, you know, chunky, shitty to deal with. Also, I'm using like a Packard brush, not like a all over the lid brush, so that probably would help a little bit. But like, you know what I'm saying? Usually it's like chalky, hard to miss, or like hard to miss, hard to use, like, scrape off the top layer just freaking annoying as h no one likes that yesterday sorry i'm like switching topics now i got pho for the first time oh so good so good i love pho so much I'm just like it makes me so ha like incredibly happy incredibly happy so we're gonna put this all over the lid because because she's sparkly. Hey, we're gonna do a look today with the Pumpkin Spice palette slash a few other palettes because it is A, a beautiful day out. B, my husband has been gone for a week and I miss him and he comes home like super late tonight. So this is my last day to myself slash like, you know, I gotta look really, we gotta look real good. So that's what we're doing today. And I want to like go to the Dollar Tree and Five Below and get some Halloween decor because it's been, they have such cute stuff there. So this is a Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. Is it worth buying? Yes, it is $49. It blends like a dream. These colors you can use, I feel like all year round. Like you definitely could have like some really good like spring and then like fall, but then like you could quad, like you could do like a dark wintry look like I don't know I just think it's a great palette it's not their holiday palette it's not part of their holiday collection just to warn y'all so we laid down with the whipped cream pink right here and we're just gonna lay it down on this eye make sure that's all finished and then we're going in all go all over the lid with crisp sorry I'm just like jumping in to where I was Ooh, and let's do oh my oh my god gourd god gourd I don't know gourd obviously a gourd like you know a gourd and i definitely think i'm gonna hit pan in this palette in colors for sure i don't the only Too Faced palette i have left is like my gold chocolate palette because i like the other ones were so old i like them away because that one still is really good and then um the that glitter palette one because i use that a lot too still okay now we're gonna go in with a color from the Manny Moonspell palette. Manny, look at this packaging. It's for a queen. Look at it. Manny, you got it going on, girl. Mm, maybe I don't wanna use that. But this palette's really great. So I will just give you a shout out. You are a great palette, though. You actually really fucking. You be killing it. You give Jeffree Star a run from his money. That's why Jeffree Star ended your friendship because he was like, damn, his brand be better than mine. Gotta cancel this bitch. That's the true story. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's with PSL and Chill. So it's like this bright fuchsia ass pink. And I've used this one before and she, she just pops off if you can tell. She's just like, let's go ho. And I barely dipped in because I know it builds really fast. Sorry, I need to get, I shouldn't zoom y'all all kitties in. It's my ugly ass face. So yeah, I've just been really feeling myself after I cut my hair and then I bought hoops and I've just like been really feeling like myself finally, like again, like finding my true self 
being how I like to be being just being Alexis, you know? You love that for me. And then we're gonna go the other eye. And I just did a little chunk of ginger spice, which is like kind of like an orangey color, but and then just get it in there. We're gonna clean it up later. Of the juice. Golden got me slipping. Sorry, you know, your girl will be on TikTok. She got all those songs in her effing head. Like hardcore in my brain all the time. Every day of my life. Cannot escape it. It's just, it's just there. Okay. Now. We're going to do second palette. Because we're going to, you know, like. Oh, shit. There's so many songs stuck in at all times because of that damn app. But I just, I don't know. TikTok's really fun. I hope it doesn't get banned. It is truly just like a super fun app. I mean, obviously, like, can someone just, obviously there's like shitty people. Can someone please let Trump know there is people on TikTok that literally would lick his asshole for, I mean love him so much that he shouldn't because he has he has his fans on there too he's not alone not that i like him but i'm just saying i'm just i'm just trying to keep my tiktok on okay what a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do to keep tiktok around she wants to know also i got my nails done asmr just kidding i'm not an asmr tiktok could you imagine? Oh, my voice. Hello, welcome to ASMR. The nightmares right there. That's like Halloween and all. Also, Halloween's on freaking Saturday. So 2020 had to F up to give us Halloween on Saturday. What the is that? That is some BS. I don't, I don't think I noticed it was, was Halloween on a Friday last year. I don't. Did we have a leap year? I think we did. I just don't even know. But that would make sense if we did. But anyways, um, that makes me sad. Because like, you know, kids gotta really want the frick out. We're gonna go with Piper right here. We're gonna do something with it and hope it works out. It will, it will work out. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit, huh? I definitely should have used a different brush, but hey, what do you do? You can still like cut it so it's fine. You can always fix a makeup look. Sometimes. Mm. No, I'll be able to fix it. Um, but yeah, like I super, super like love haunted houses. And apparently there's some still going around where I live. They're just not doing um, hay rides. Which, you know, I'm trying to go in a haunted house. So depending on like the cleanliness and... I know people that work at some of them, or people that can actually at least get insights, I should say, um, to know what they're doing. But at the same time, it's like, you go to the store, you go with your friends, or you hang out with a friend, your friend goes to the store, your friend goes to the bar, like, you know, everyone, I mean, COVID's very serious, don't get me that wrong. I'm just saying, like, you step out of your house, you're putting yourself at risk, is what I guess I'm trying to say. But still, you know, gotta take extra precautions. But yeah, it's like the lining's like, you know, better than I go to freaking Target and it's like safer that way than like, I'm not opposed to like going to a haunted house if it's like super, super safe that way. Um, 
but I mean obviously time can tell, numbers will tell, all, you know, everything is up in the air. So we just don't know. Up the juice, cold ain't gonna be trippin'. Okay, I do like what happened so far in this little makeup book, so that is good. It's just like Manny's formula, just like a swipe. And you're just like, oh shit. Like that's literally how I feel today. It's just a, oh shit, we did it. Now we're going to the Stone and Vibes palette because I need to do the inside and under around my eyeballs. Look at this effing beautiful palette. Ugh, we love her. That almost hit my feet. Ooh, I was scared. So we are gonna go into Vibes. This is what this palette looks like, by the way. Just gorgeous. And it's just vibrant, like yes, just hit me with it. And just kind of connects everything together. Like it gives you a whole wet look, it does give me some like um oh my god why can't i think another person said this too oh yeah it gives me the like color pop press shock shadow super shock the, the super shock shadows my lord where do i want to go in the middle of today we want to like a wet ass pink so we are gonna go with the pumpkin spice palette again and i'm feeling the oh my gourd in the middle so this one right here and we're gonna lay her down and no i did not have a plan of what i was doing today i literally was just grabbing colors and being like mm, i guess and we're gonna add some of the purple in there oh, yes love it love it love 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 this i'm gonna go in a little more time in the middle with like a denser brush perfect so yeah i got my mani palette at morphe and they were just like okay girl what you want and i was like dude i don't know bring me to mani and then they just like shop with you right now due to like COVID, which was kind of cool. So we do love that. We're gonna use the Lauren Conrad. She's got a beauty brand coming out. We're gonna use her eyeliner. ASMR. There you go. It's my ASMR for you. And we're just gonna lightly go on here. The tip. And I am super bad at wings, so I used to be decent, and I don't know. Probably because like liquid eyeliner is not my forte. That is definitely, definitely it. Back in action. Okay. So we got put on some mascara. That Too Faced Better Than Six. I'm debating do I want to wear these same lashes today or I'm wearing different lashes today. I just don't know. I think we might try another different one. Because I've been using these dollar store ones. Oh my god, they're so cute. I mean, like, I wore a pair of the dollar store ones yesterday and I loved them. Oh, we're not done. Anyways, we gotta do our face, but... Oh yeah, I do actually have to share. Install now. Sorry, I'm getting that new, you know, update on my iPhone. So it can tell me to keep getting a new iPhone because it's just going to drain my battery to life. I mean, today. Okay. 
So, what the hell was I just gonna do? But yeah, we're gonna use the primer that I'm gonna use. So we've been using the Rare Beauty Primer, which I do like. It is illuminating, but it also is um, really like hydrating. And the girl, I was at Sephora and I just like, my Sephora literally had nothing in stock of like any brand at all, cause it's just so picked over right now. And it's a JCPenney's one. So I just don't know if they're just like mostly restocking like in-store one or like free, freestanding Sephora's. I don't know. I don't usually shop at Sephora. But I was bored, like I said this week. My husband's in Florida with his band record. They recorded an album. It's done now. Um, they fly home later tonight. He'll be home. But um, so I was like killing time because puppy was sleeping. Like we just went for a walk. She was tired, and I was like, "Well, I'll let her sleep. I'm gonna go to the mall because the mall's just down the road." And then I like went there, and I was like talking to her about Ravi, and I was like, "Well, she this girl's so nice, so I should just." buy something i know right everyone's like damn she's that bitch no not not all the time and then i got um a fenty gloss bomb which these glosses are i can't wait for the holiday set i will buy it i never shop sephora i do not like sephora sephora because of their point system but i will buy this in this primer you can see like my skin is already glowing the girl who helped me said she has very oily skin and it's obviously been worse with wearing a mask and she hasn't had any issues. She's like, even though like, she's like, I try not to do like a lot of makeup at work, but like they have to. She said she, she I do like it. It feels nice. It smells, doesn't smell weird. Um, I like that it makes my skin look glowy. Like I would go out in public wearing like my makeup like this and have nothing on my face, which I mean, I have like a little, a little breakout right now because of mask, but that's all right. I am mostly doing full face foundation stuff right now because I'm kind of doing it in a sense like a project pan trying to use up a lot of my makeup. Especially on days like I'm being on my house, like I take some pictures, do some TikToks, making a YouTube video, hanging out at my mom's house that I've hung out every, I'm at her house every single day because she's my neighbor. So like I can like have my makeup look cute there. Obviously if I'm running to a store, if I go to the Dollar Tree, like my mask is on but it's not eight hours straight you know like it would be if I was at work so you know but it is kind of nice to kind of like tell that so the foundation that I'm using up is the Born to Glow by NYX um honestly I should have probably gone this way a long time ago but I barely used it um it's very you don't need a lot to be honest and I probably put way too much than I needed to but it's just like a very nice lightweight medium to full coverage foundation depending on how much you want to put on um I got it to wear in Florida because I wanted to just look like glowy and stuff and all the pictures that we took last year. Um, yeah. And like, like I said, it's a little bit of a lighter weight. It was before I kind of got into tinted moisturizers, like the ColourPop tinted moisturizer. And I, you know, I feel comfortable even with like this little breakout and like everyone, like I've never had skin issues. That's why I'm a little more of a baby about it. But like everyone's having acne issues or some type of issue right now due to mass and just the stress of the pandemic and then whatever other you know curveballs life is bringing people us and like being in a pandemic in general so you know we're all going through we're all going through it so also that means be nice to people because we're all going through it you know we really all are. but yeah so i've been kind of doing a project pan type thing with my friend anna from well we used to work together she does big girl things now love you anna and I'm just gonna use my powder. I've been trying to use up like old highlighters that I have. But I'm gonna layer it on with this. And it's gonna be a blush day, so we're gonna use a blush instead of I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer, but I do I'll use my Laura Keller blush. I have a little blush, pinky blush on the nose vibe today. So and I usually just like use a little bit of powder to set my makeup. You know, I used to be a super full coverage girl. Before quarantine hit, I kind of wasn't because like my skin was really nice or I do have really nice skin and I really just like didn't need to. And I was just wearing tinted moisturizer, really light powdering like this. Like you can still see some freckles. Um, Just to kind of make my makeup stick because like I just, I just love highlighting. I just love glowy skin. Like that's just how I like makeup to look on me. And that's just my vibe. And I like a lot of glitter and I like a lot of all that craziness. So we're gonna, 
like I said, we're just using things up. So we're just gonna do a little bit of bronzer on here just to make me look a little more alive in the world. brush looks so orangey on camera but it's really not then we're gonna be using this highlight it's very it's an old highlight it's from the my little pony collection but like it still works it doesn't smell gross like it still does its job so we're gonna highlight the nose because that's what i always do Like this probably could get thrown soon. And then next like couple months. If I don't like use it all the time, which I should just like try to use it weekly at least. Because it I did hit pan in it pretty hard, but like it's like not so soft, like it's rigid. Like it doesn't feel nice. But it's going nice on. But yeah, I know I had this one for like Christmas a few years ago. Two years ago maybe? So I guess that's not like terribly long. Okay. So we, I'm just going to quick show you this lash. I'm not going to put these on because I'm going to wear it. But this is what it looks like. And it's in this and the packaging. I don't know where did it go? Um, oh, it's right here. I got it from the Dollar Tree. So there's a difference in between like Dollar General and Dollar Tree, I want to say. But unless they're the same thing, this is like what the packaging looks like. Um, but I think I'm going to wear a different one today. So I'll quick show you guys those. And then I'm going to go off camera, do my hair, put the lashes on. And then, yeah. And I got these like batty, batty ones. Cray cray. And then we got these, which are more like a lighter flutter, flutter, flutter. So, um, I think I'm gonna wear these ones though today. But yeah, for a dollar, like in their decent quality, they didn't make my eyes water like amazing. So I'm gonna get these lashes on and I'll be right back. And this is the look. So if you can see my lashes, kind of. Yes, those are Dollar Tree lashes. We love them. Let me curl her hair. We're wearing hoops from Claire's because Claire's got those all around hoops. And your girl doesn't have her ears fixed quite yet. And then we got some glitter from that Butterfly Purple Glitter Palette from ColourPop. And then we are trying to use this up. We got so, like, barely any left. So... I've just been spraying it throughout the day. But or else. And then I just added some soft mop lipstick from La Rock And strained my hair. And that's all we did. So we are good. We are done. We got the look. We got flower showing. We're embracing the last flowery couple nice days before it gets cold and icky in Minnesota. And oh, I got to put my ring on because I'm done. I just don't like to get goop on her wedding ring. Eh, that's not a good time. But I'm all set, so I'm gonna go to my parents and hang out, maybe eat some lunch. And my dog can play with their dog and hang out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying as safe as they can be. Um, just remember, everyone's going through a wild time, so try to be the kindest, best, most understanding. Try to put yourself in other people's shoes and just listen and be there for people because the world is just a wild place right now. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!